what's going on guys in the video today we're going to go for an overnight trip up a mountain to the base of a glacier hopefully we'll get inside and explore some ice caves we've got a big uphill slog now make our way to the glacier first thing tomorrow morning gone about one and a half kilometers straight up we've got a brief uh flat section here where we're having a break and then we'll keep powering up the hill up 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 we go almost at the tree line got a healthy sweat going feels good to stretch your legs Once the sun went down, we filled our stomachs and called it a night. And then early the next morning, we got up and just about summited one of the nearby peaks. It got some glorious views of the first light scattering across the landscape. And then we carried on towards the glacier. All right, we're crossing this uh, big gully here, making our way over and just over this ridge, trying to get our way to the, the glacier. Slowly getting there. Obviously a glacier is always changing and any potential cave systems uh, collapse and don't last too long so I was pretty anxious to finally reach the terminal face of the glacier and see what greeted us. Two things that made this particular section so memorable and photogenic was the water and the light. The combination of the two was a strong emphasis in some of the images I made. found that everything I was drawn to and wanting to photograph was directly related to the light and the relationship between the light and the ice. There were so many different shades of blues that were revealed, textures and contours. Basically there was unlimited inspiration. It was a humbling experience being within the glacier and having an opportunity to be up close to it and photograph it. Something that's obviously not going to be here forever. Thanks so much for checking out the video guys, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.